This is Andrew Feather. Oh. He's one of the best humans on the planet at riding bikes uphill. He can go up mountains like Alpe d'Huez as quick as Tour de France champions, has over 6,000 KOMs, and he's the number one ranked climber on Strava. All the more impressive when you consider that's not even his full-time job. It's actually, a, it's actually a lawyer. However, it's been brought to our attention that there is another. Our colleagues in Italy have been moaning about an equally annoying, infuriating and mysterious individual who also seems to be going around hoovering up everybody's KOMs. His name? Il Bandito. So naturally, we've come to Italy to pit them against each other man on man in a race at one of Italy's hardest climbs, the Muro di Simano. Literally, the Wall of Simano. Let's do it. I'm joined by Giorgio Brambia, my counterpart from GCN Italia. Giorgio, what on, I mean, who is this Il Bandito character? Yeah, his real name is Luca Vergallito. He has a full-time job. He's a science or sport uh, graduate and he's a coach. He won a lot of Gran Fondo and he has also some KOM on important climb here in Italy, like uh, Passo dello Stelvio, Mortirolo, and also here on Muro di Sormano. Wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. But what, what on earth's going on with his outfit? Yeah, I don't really know. Our race is a simple one. The two of them are gonna set off from here, the bottom of the Muro de Simano, and then race up. The first one to the top is the winner. This climb is pretty savage. So it's the most famous climb in Il Lombardia, the race of the falling leaves. It's 1.7 kilometers long with an average gradient of 15%, but a maximum of 25. Yeah, and Il Bandito, Aka, Luca Vergallito is on a court advantage here because yeah. uh, he lives around here's this area and he has the KOM on this climb, so. Yeah, eight minutes. Yeah, eight minutes. Well, I mean, phew, is, who's gonna win, yeah. right? Is it gonna be 64 kilogram, 175 centimeter Andrew Feather or 190 centimeter, 69 kilogram Luca? Yeah. Yeah, Italy versus England. Yeah, Italy will smash it. No, they're not. Feather's, <laughs> feather's going to destroy. Feather's going to destroy yeah, the bandito. We will see. We will see. All oh, right. This is it, guys. All the hopes of a nation pinned on you, feather. I'm going to give you some beeps. Beep. 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 Wait, Right, we better jump in the car and drive around. Come on. <laughs> While Giorgio and I hot foot it to the finish, allow me to hand over to some official GCN racing commentary from Dan Lloyd. Here we are then on the lower slopes of the famous, or some would say infamous, Muro di Sommano. These are the gradients that our two defiers of gravity will be facing today. Easy-ish for the first 200 metres, but then it's straight into double digits, with a grueling 200 metre section that averages over 20% just past the midway point of the climb. Now, I've already noticed a distinct difference in style up to this point, with Feather dancing on the pedals and Bergolito choosing to stay seated, perhaps in an attempt to save energy. Although, just as I say that, the Italian is out of the saddle too. The current best time on this Strava segment is already held by Vergolito, who also holds the KOMs on two of the most iconic climbs in cycling, the Stelvio and the Mortirolo. However, being 16 centimetres shorter and more importantly, five kilograms lighter, you'd expect Feather to have the advantage in today's contest, which is in effect a power to weight test on such steep gradients. Into the trees though, and Feathers decided to take matters into his own hands. Vergolito is on the wheel though. Now there won't be much of a slipstream advantage at these speeds, but there might just be a psychological one. Almost five minutes into the climb now, and they'll be really hurting at this point. Legs, arms, every muscle in their body is going to be fatigued. This is an anaerobic effort, and there's no opportunity to get into a rhythm. Oh, is Vergolito hurting here? There's a slight gap and his cadence has noticeably dropped. Well, they're back alongside each other now, 
but I doubt there's any chit chat going on here. This is no time for small talk as they hit the toughest gradients of this climb. Well, just a few hundred meters now to the top, but at these speeds, that's still going to be a couple of minutes of effort. What have they got left in the tank? Who's going to crack first? Well, it's Feather who takes the inside line on the second switchback of this climb, but there's still nothing to separate these two riders. I have a feeling this battle is going to be as much psychological as it is physical. They're absolutely flying here, and to put their efforts into some sort of perspective, they're going faster on this climb than the pros who often race up here in one of cycling's monuments, Il Lombardia. Both riders out of the saddle now and sprinting as though they've only just started their efforts. This is incredible to watch. Well, they have no time to take in the views at this point, possibly no vision either. Well, it's still neck and neck. Feather, oh, but this is him, is Feather cracking now? Two meters, five meters, 10 meters now. It looks like the Brit is in the hurt box. Surely there's no coming back from this so close to the top of the climb. Il Bandito has the feather in his hat. Wow, will somebody get that e-bike rider out of the way? Thank goodness he didn't hinder the riders. Well, Virgilito being shouted on now by the one deep crowd on the side of this road. He's got clear daylight behind him. Feather has been game. dropped like a stone. Game, but you can see the Italian is nervous. The constant glances over his shoulder to check the gap behind him. Very close to the top now, less than 200 meters remaining. Well, as that e-biker continues to make a menace of himself, Feather now just has to limit his losses. Virgilito up front, just a few seconds to the top, and he'll be crossing the line very shortly indeed. And there he is, chapeau, or as the Italian would say, complimenti, buon appetito. What a stunning effort. And Feather crosses the line soon afterwards. What about the time then? Well, it's 10 seconds slower than his record, but you've got to say congratulations to both of these riders. Very right. Grande Luca. Oh, guys, oh, that was amazing. Right. Well done, Luca. Thank you. Great ride. Great ride. Right. Thank you. All. Well right. done. Feather, you've been. Have you been beaten? What happened? Forty watts down on the four thirty. PB four seventy. Forty watts. Four seventy. Yeah. Oh. You, Luca? I don't know. Yeah, no, it's four, four thirty today. I wasn't. I wasn't looking at the watt. <laughs> <laughs> Later we check. Yeah. Of course, team, team England, we've got an excuse in that you won't know this, but Feather actually yesterday took the KOM on the Scanupia, the hardest climb in the world. So that, I think that's, hey, that's, you know, he's a bit tired today. Dura la Scanupia. Tu cosa hai fatto ieri? Ieri tutto il giorno orizzontale. Gambe alzate sul letto. Gambe messaggi. Esperienza. Although I'd say, you know, fair, fair and square the winner today, you know, you, you, you've accelerated on that last call and I just couldn't, couldn't hold your will today. So. Fair play, well done. <laughs> so it's such a good sport. Yeah, well, so we need well, the revenge yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Need revenge. Well, if you'd like to see a rematch and like to see Luca in, in a future video, comment with your suggestions down below and uh, give this video a thumbs up as it, as it helps support the channel. That'd be, uh, that'd be great. I mean, I'd love to see it personally. So yeah, let us know your thoughts. And if you'd like to see some amazing climbing action and see Feather in more action, doing what he does best, we've got an amazing film on GCN Plus. So make sure you check that out.